it means basics of .NET. <coughs> Before starting the story of .NET, I would like to catch your attention on some story. .NET is a powerful, easy to use, user friendly, rapid application development based framework, complete framework. In this, it is like a package, like MS Office. In MS Office, you have Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Previously, we have Access also, Microsoft Front Page also there. In the same way, in .NET, you have C Sharp .NET, ASP .NET, Visual Basic .NET, and many other available tools existing in the .NET. It is called .NET Framework. It is developed by Microsoft. So as it is developed by Microsoft, so it is easy to use. The main, main philosophy of Microsoft is to develop the project, product which are easy to use, user friendly. User -friendly. Microsoft .NET was first released in the year 2000. Before this, Microsoft was using Visual Basic for all kind of application programming and programming related to the internet. But the king was Java. But the king was Java. Microsoft, this Java was true object oriented programming language. Visual Basic was also object oriented programming language. But the main philosophy of Visual Basic was event-oriented programming. Event-oriented programming. History of programming is about 50 years old. Is about 50 years old. Initially, when the computer were developed, they were huge device, and the writing of program was in just one and zero format. And for one and zero format, they used to have a punch card. There was a card. In this card there was hole. If there is hole found, it is one. If not hole found, it is zero. So that card is supplied to computer and computer read program. One and zero, one and zero, one and zero. It was very difficult and it was the time of around 1950, 70 years ago. After that, development taken place and this programming of one and zero converted to some codes and programmer get rid of the writing code in 1 and 0 they wrote the code in mnemonic codes like add to add two number mul to multiply two number div to divide one number by other store to store a number on some place so this kind of programming become assembly language program assembly language program and these together become low level language programming and after that around 1960 the programming started in high level language programming in high level language programming you have <coughs> editor there you write code code is in english that is easily understandable by you but not by computer because computers mother tongue computers original language is one and zero and 1 and 0 is the current, 1 is the current of 5 volt or 3 volt and 0 is the negative 3 volt current or near to 0 but not exactly 0, but exactly 0 is nothing. So it is like a current, flowing of current. So writing the program in high level language is very close to the user, not with the computer. So there was a requirement of translating this program in your program to computer understandable program. So for that purpose, for high level language, compiler were developed. Compiler, take your program and convert them to computer understandable in a 1 and 0 program. For assembly language, they need assembler. Assembler is a program that take input, uh, assembly language program, process it and convert into the 1 and 0. So COBOL was the language in 1960 that was developed for business applications. After COBOL, basic language came, basic, beginner all-purpose symbolic instruction code, basic. Then after basic, ELGOL, similar, FORTRAN, 
and Pascal. These are around 70. But there was a language called A language, then B language, and after that, Dennis Ritchie developed C language. C language was the first popular and strong programming language that was based on the structured programming language. A structured programming is just write a program based on the algorithm. C language was very powerful language and the operating system Unix is written in the C language. Operating system Unix is open source available. Code is available. If you want to download the code, download code, modify it, you can develop your own operating system. Android operating system is based on the Unix because it is freely available. The core of Android mobile operating system based on the Unix. So, I told you C was the first popular language and after that C was extended with the help of concept of object oriented programming. Object oriented programming says that everything in the world is object. Similar type of object belong to a class. Class is an abstract entity and this abstract entity is used on abstract level. That abstract entity contain some attributes and some method. For example, teacher is a class. If teacher is a class, then teacher will have some attribute like name of teacher, education of teacher, specialization of teacher, address of teacher, his age or many attributes that belong to the teacher. And all teacher will have same kind of attributes. Because for example, if one teacher attribute is specialization so i will have software engineering i will have software computer science other will have mathematics other will have uh, electrical engineering the values will change but attribute will not change it is the same specialization teacher will have some function like teaching research take exam take tutorials like that these are the function of teacher and all teacher will have the same function if some teacher will have different function, so maybe he will not belong to that class, he will belong to another class, right? This is the basic scenario of the object oriented programming. When the time will come, I will explain you in detail. But here I am just summarizing. So C++ becomes the first object oriented programming language and this programming language given the lot of facility to the programming like reusability. You write one code and can use many number of times big facility by yes please big facility of reusability after reusability data hiding data is not allowed to access from anywhere data is private and many other features was given in object oriented programming after object oriented programming microsoft came with the new idea of event oriented programming or event based interaction with the computer when they introduced mouse with the, with the introduction of mouse, they did everything visual. Everything become visual. Otherwise, previous to that, everything was CUI, character based interface. Means the DOS operating system, just right here, CMD in the run, and you will see black screen. It is called disk operating system DOS. So, in DOS, you need to remember every command and writing command by your hand. But when the Windows came, Windows brought everything visual on the screen you need not to memorize you need not to remember anything okay in terms of commands an operation of computer you just click and your task is done you just know that if i will click here that will happen this is your responsibility not to memorize the complete 100 percent accurate sequence of the characters or of the code right so in the same way microsoft brought a programming language called visual basic when this programming came to the market, it became very popular because everybody wants to work in this because it, it's easiness. It's a rapid application development. You write something, many things will be automatically written. Right? So this was the event-oriented programming. After that, a programming concept came event-based programming that is used in scriptive language like JavaScript, Visual Basic, VB Script. These languages are using event-based programming. Okay, in 1995, the Java language was introduced by Sun Microsystem, and even after the introduction of Java, for five six years it became the king of all type of application, right? So, in, in internet area, 
in internet area it become a king to give a competition to this java microsoft developed one language called visual java vj visual java code was java code of java was taken and interface developed by microsoft become visual java but later uh, this microsoft my uh, sun microsystem they put a case against them in the court they lost and after that they took back visual java now they were thinking this microsoft were thinking that to develop a language that should be very easy and give the full competition to the java they introduced dotnet and after introduction of dotnet many programmer of java they switched to dotnet if i would compare dotnet and java to each other i will find that java is strong secure and far better than dotnet but if you are talking about simplicity rapid application development easy to write code comfort for the programmer dotnet okay because you have completed your three courses java 1 java 2 java 3 so i introduce c sharp here so that you will know about c sharp that is another competitive product of java dot net technology i told you this story to tell you it is simple and easy to use programming technology dot net language is developed for dot net platform c sharp is a different programming language and it is developed for both workstation and server workstation means computer your computer is called workstation server you know very well now it is developed for both client and server c sharp design objectives what was the objectives when c sharp was designed number 1 it should be object oriented programming language it should be able to execute locally on your computer on distributed applications and remotely also means it should be able to execute on server it should be execute on the client and it should be executed in the distributed environment what is distributed environment distributed environment this environment is a collaborative kind of system of operation means <coughs> there is no server or there is a server but many devices are connected with each other many devices my laptop is connected with your laptop your laptop connected with other and all we have connected with each other and we have a big file some part i store some part you some part he some part and then we will have a node that is called master or server for this for this group right and he will just controlling and maintaining index of a stored file or operations so this is called a distributed that you will study in operating system distributed operating system or distributed database management system there you will study this in detail but this is not my topic this is not my concern just i am introducing you in there is a client server architecture in the same way there is another architecture called distributed system architecture in distributed system architecture nothing is central control like in client server architecture server is the central control everybody is connected with server but in distributed architecture it is not like that for example i am teaching this course to you i am a server if i am not available for one month class will not happen because you are depending on me but if it happen that i will teach you one session only and next session other teacher will teach after that other teacher will teach then other so no dependency on anyone it is the course is distributed with many teachers right there are 15 session here in this course then 15 session will be taught by 15 teachers so what will happen it is called distribution of the course no dependency on anyone load is equally distributed with everyone right so in this way there are lot of facilities no central control if server is down nothing will be down completely other device will be working or unavailable time is less many benefits all right this is another next is code execution environment minimize software development and versioning conflict so i told you all these story i will go to the next design objective i told you all this this is 
the common language runtime dot net main component is common language runtime that is called clr environment clr clr means common language runtime or clr is the foundation of dot net right clr in clr written code of c sharp is compiled to msil msil called microsoft intermediate language microsoft intermediate language then this will be compiled uh, compiled to low level assembly language program that is called stub okay and after that just in time compiler clr just in time compiler will compile this to win32 code and that is the main language of windows operating system and after that msil compile code in the application and then it will send to the windows to execute understand main thing is clr environment clr environment take your program written in c sharp microsoft intermediate language will convert them to further level and after that just in time compiler will compile them to further level in the windows win32 codes that will be executed by windows operating system other is called fcl is framework class library whatever the code you want to include that will be in the library for example including some package some classes that is available in in this library they are saying here as in this section must a must to run dot net application means what is there that is required to run dot net application to run a dot net application you must have installed dot net framework in your computer that framework is not to write the dot net program no it is to execute dot net program like if you want to execute java program you must have jre java runtime environment in your in your system if you don't have jre java program will not execute because it create a virtual machine in your system to execute the program in the same way you need dot uh, net framework the minimum is 4.0 uh, other thing i will i would like, other thing i would like to tell you go to microsoft create your account download uh, microsoft visual studio 2019 or higher version community version from microsoft website it is 1.5 or 8 gb in size it will come to your computer and install then you can work on microsoft c sharp dot net <coughs> in the lab otherwise you will face a problem so every student will create account on microsoft then you will go to community version from community version download microsoft visual studio 2019 or above i have 19 version after that i did not check whether the new version is available or not 2019 download this and install in your computer then you will have microsoft visual studio dot net installed in your computer and after that how you will make a setting of dot net to c sharp developer setting i will tell you in the lab but before lab you must ready with that this is the example uh, this is the diagram of clr environment this is the diagram of clr environment here this is the program c++ dot net dot net accommodate all languages nowadays j sharp dot net c sharp dot net visual basic dot net all program written will be compiled to microsoft intermediate language at this level all program are same right at this level they are different because their editor their compiler and their way to write their syntax is different but at this level they all become same after that they will supply to common language runtime just in time compiler called jit compiler and then they will be converted to microsoft win32 api from this all native compilers will work at this level and after that 
it will be supplied to windows operating system for execution windows will execute them about some basic features of c sharp .net c sharp is the main programming language of .net framework it is simple modern object oriented and type safe programming language what is the meaning by type safe programming language yes what you can type safely no no it's not you can type safely it is different meaning yes correct itself no 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 not correcting itself type safe means two meaning number one here type of data is safe what is meaning of safe means if one data is integer other is double so integer and double double to integer is not possible until you will not do a type cast right it means if data is type of integer and you want to store in double double contain more memory it is going it's okay but the data is double you want to send to integer integer is small memory it will not go until you will not do a type cast but generally for safer side type casting is required means wherever you are sending if data is different data type it should be converted to that data type number 1 number 2 small and capital letters are different in visual basic there is no difference but in c sharp there is a difference if you write small a if you write capital a they are different this is the meaning of type safe means typing is safe if you write small i if you write capital i they are different not same understand next it is the combined productivity of rapid application development and main power of c++ c++ is the object oriented programming so it is also object oriented programming c sharp and the main feature of c sharp is rapid application development why it is called rapid application development because you do less coding many thing will be done by itself you you write w many option will come from w select enter quickly it will help you to develop application quickly it save your time sir yes let's uh, say so there is no error no there is error if if it's the word in here in general the word there is error it said it will solve no it will not solve itself it will not solve you will solve it have a type safety yes you will solve that's why it is saying that it is safe means it is safe it will inform you it will inform you inform you if there is error next is this is the name ender hazenbal is the main leader of c sharp development project and main problems of c++ java delphi small talk are solved in the design of c sharp c sharp is registered in iso organization 2006 standard this is the simple c sharp program this is a simple c sharp program in this program program will be same like java program you will create a class you will have public study void main and what are the differences i will tell you here class class name hello class class name hello braces starting braces ending it means it is the starting and ending of the class right after that public static void main notice here m is capital not small m is capital but in java m is small in c in C and C plus plus M is small. Here is capital. String args all are same. System dot console dot write line hello world. System is same. Console is not same because there is I O. Here is console. There is print L N. But here a write line. So these are the differences. But basic architecture is same. Only the words of command changes. console means input output a screen and keyboard combined is called console write line if you use write it will write everything continuously if you use write line it will print in the next line and what is printing hello world in the 
quotes it will print as it is because because it become a string close here close here when you execute this program the file will be created cls or cs c sharp program name dot cs in this program you have everything same except this line using system it is the same as import system or import scanner in place of import we will use using word here using using system is package in java but here name space in place of package word we will use a name space word here name space right we will not use the word package what i will say here we have used system name space but if i am teaching in java i will say i have imported system package from the java library but here i will say i am using i am using system name space from the library but the task is same only words changing Victor, yes now if we write using system it doesn't have write system in the printing command actually if you don't use it is by default included yeah, by default uh, very small things are by default included but if you are doing some special task you need to specify otherwise program will ask that it is not recognized so using system is the benefit no i'm there is no benefit but it is a for clarification but if you will not use system it will not give you error because it is by default added so few things are by default added in the program understand but many things will not be added for example you are doing programming for for windows so windows related thing you need to import you need to use in your program using forms you are doing some drawing so using classes related to drawing you need to use they will not come by default but small things will come by default next is using system name space my first name space so it means in the you are using system but you are creating one name space the name space is what package in the package you are creating a class in the package creating a class this is the c sharp program structure it is c sharp program structure in in the the c sharp program is a program that may divide is many files every file will have extension dot cs c means c s means sharp c is sharp then every file can have name spaces name spaces and many name spaces every name space can contain class interface struct and name spaces so this is the hierarchical structure of the program a program can take many files in file you can have many name space in name space you can have many name space and classes and structures and other components whatever required to develop your program name space name space is like package in java okay class interface structure enum are organized hierarchy in the name space the hierarchy which i showed you in the previous slide after that dot net framework class fcl is composed in the name space in fcl we have many name space inside name space we have many classes name space can contain another name space name space is used to avoid naming conflict and reuse what is the reuse means you can use using a name space that you can return the classes and other component in the name space you can use them many times writing one use many after that name space are used in dll dynamic link library file called assemblies they stay there and link with your program if the class is not the part of any name space it become the part of global name space 
where many things will come to you by default as he was asking how you can create a name space very simple just write the name space, space name of people and code name inside inside will be classes method and the same normal program okay they are saying how you can include name space using directive the name is directive using directive will be used to include name space in your program and if you are including name space in your program then you can use all classes written inside the name space for example here using system console dot write line hello will also work you are not writing system dot console if writing only console dot write line it will work very happily okay some important name spaces in framework class library these are some important uh, name spaces like system system name space contain all the classes that are related to your system these are concerned with the hardware input output networking socket all kind of network related and system related classes will be there in system name space system.io it is sub package inside input output related system.net related to network all classes related to network will be in the .net system.net.socket if you want to use socket class in your program and want to do a socket programming that you will do in the week number 10 12 and 13 you will use system.socket system.collection it will contain i think for linked list q hash table programming for that programming for data structures you will use that system dot drawing when you want to use some classes that will help you to draw something on your screen like rectangle circle you want to draw like this uh, windows dot form if you want to do a programming of window so you will use windows dot form so when you execute your program program will show you a form on the screen okay threading it is for multi threading programming multi threading programming means where you create many part of your program and they execute together called parallel programming dot web writing program for internet for http protocol and web pages it is the end of this session and any question ki sawal yes Victor, if you use the, the name space system, yes, it will come with all the benefits. Ah, yes, it will come all the benefits. With the drawing, everything, the speed, all yes, everything. But for safer side, we also write after writing system, we also write system dot io dot socket, system dot this dot this like that. But when you include system, they will come all. Okay. Thank you.